District 14 Hair Scramble, Round 1, Portland. And now we're up 35 plus C. We've got about 10 seconds. And we had a huge class today. This is the biggest uh, class that I can ever remember having in a District 14 race. Had 50 riders in 35 plus C today. And over 500 total. Huge turnout for round one. So I got three laps of footage this race. So I'm gonna jump back and forth to some various laps here and just pick up the same spot on the track that we left off so we got the start it kind of became somewhat boring a boring lap at that point we just kind of follow the leader through the moto track here not a lot of racing going on per se um, so we'll just we'll just skip around and show you the good stuff so you saw deck uh, the gentleman i showed you the starting line there he got around me there uh, a couple turns back and uh, we battled hard uh, pretty much the entire race back and forth I think the first four laps we were 12th or 13th somewhere in that range back and forth we would just kind of swap position scoring each lap or and we would pass each other multiple times kind of throughout the lap so we had a lot of fun uh, racing one another out there um, unfortunately this jump we're going over I think it was right there potentially we got tangled up on lap four I want to say and uh, we didn't actually capture that on video my camera had died but we both went down pretty hard uh, there didn't lose too much time both were able to hop back up and continue on but um, did, didn't mean to take him out he didn't mean to pick, take me out we were just racing it was just one of those racing incidents but uh, a lot of fun racing with deck here today So I'm using a different mount here today, um, new AMA rule, no cameras on your helmet. So I had I usually do a chin mount on my helmet and really like that view. So I uh, have a, a chest mount now uh, built into my chest protector that I'm running here and uh, actually kind of like the view. Um, get a little bit more of the bike action, how it's working underneath you and, and how it kind of shows the physicality little bit more than what the, the helmet cam does I think um, it's a little bit smoother on the helmet maybe but um, overall pretty pleased with it this is my first time using this um, I had run I'd run a um, IXCR race earlier this year and was able to use my helmet helmet mount there and then we ran a family enduro last weekend and I was able to use my helmet mount there but uh, I'll be using this in uh, the hair scramble series this year
deck was getting held up a little bit there by another rider and I was able to make a move around the outside and get back or get back around him once again. track here for a while so we'll jump back to lap one where there's a little more action. Got to hand it to to Portland, man. They they had a lot of riders, and uh, the course really didn't have many bottlenecks. Uh, the first lap, even you know, they they let us off on the moto. I know in years past we'd kind of gone directly into the woods, and it just kind of stops. And uh, didn't do that this time. We got to run the grass track where you're you know you're nice and wide. You, you can make some moves and get around some folks here. So um, you know even even with a 50 rider class and you know, all the classes really big like I said for over 500 total there wasn't really um, really any bottlenecks that I saw you know more than a, a second or two you know sometimes in the pines you would come up on some folks and get hung up for a while but nothing nothing major so hats off to you guys Bender here did see uh, did see quite a bit of that you know with all the all the riders out here today it's gonna happen. X on a uh, 150XC, I believe. I don't think it's the XCW. I think it's the I think it's the XC TPI, and uh, it's making it's making that thing sing today, man. He had a had a heck of a ride. Um, I think he was ninth in the the series last year overall for the year the annual standings, and uh, I know a lot of the I think the top five in our division actually moved up to B last year, so he's looking to make some noise this year. And uh, he had a had a pretty good race for his round one.
So I want to take the opportunity to recognize a young man here. This rider had fallen. The bike was on him awkwardly, and he couldn't get it off of himself. This young man right here, Dave Dixon, stops in his race and runs back to get this bike off this gentleman. So hats off to you, Dave, man. That's a classy move. Um, he was out here racing Team C uh, with another one of the morning riders. Um, uh, I think it was with, was Declan he was riding with on their team. And, and Dave took it upon himself to actually stop, go help that other rider and uh, before he continued on. So classy move, Dave. So here we are back lap two, and that is the leader coming through and putting me a lap down uh, midway through lap two here. Um, I'd have to check timing scoring to see if he was actually the one that uh, did end up winning the race, but man, he was, he's gone, flying. This area coming up right here, it's coming down right, it fell right here, lap, lap four, lap five actually, and uh, that was my final lap, man. I, I went down, just landed awkwardly, kind of piled drove myself into the bike, and uh, pretty sure I broke a couple ribs. Um, really, really sore today, uh, and a lot of, a lot of pain, and it hurts to breathe, hurts to, <laughs> to move in general, but. Uh, I'll probably be out at least a couple rounds here as I, as I heal up from that. So probably do something a little bit different next race. Uh, I'll see if we put a camera on deck maybe. And uh, my son is racing uh, Team C with uh, Jake Bauman. And uh, we may, may document their race a little bit. Uh, as, as a team class, they had 25 in Team C um, this, this race. And they, they came away in second place out of 25 riders. So. Uh, this is their first afternoon race. They usually race super many in the morning, so uh, they're out there ripping it up. So we may uh, we may see some of their race uh, here at Whiskey Creek coming up next round. lap
only got probably 10 acres of woods here in, at Portland, so just a little section, kind of a windy trail meandered back through here, and a couple bridges to, to get back and forth across the creek here. So looks like everybody navigated those pretty good today. I know there's been some incidents in the past of people sliding off, but they're nice and wide. Got uh, got some. Ch that was close call there. I I thought I was gonna hit that tree. I pulled up just at the last second to, uh, to avoid that one. But yeah, the bridge is nice and nice and grippy with some chain link down on them. go there <laughs> held up and the rider I just got around and a couple more get by me here wrong place at the wrong time and then right place at the right time she took the lucky line there and went left and avoided that one Coming out of the woods here into the little enduro section they had set up here, just consisted of a couple little logs, uh, some tires, and then small rock garden. Um, not not much to it. Out of here, and then um, everybody did a real good job getting everybody slowed down for scoring here. Had a nice lane to lead up to, and uh, Zach having everybody pause here at the scoring table so that uh, ladies can get your backup number there. So overall, uh, awesome day. Wish I could have came free, or came out injury free, but uh, great, great track. Felt good riding all day. So we'll uh, see you guys at the next one here at uh, Whiskey Creek. Thanks for watching.